sometimes we make Mark drive ordinary cars mm. and, or even electric cars. Yeah. I don't think he always enjoys that. I don't think he enjoys electric cars very much, no. <laughs> but sometimes we make him drive interesting cars. Yeah, like today. Like today! <laughs> yes, it's Mark. Welcome to Reincarnation. I hope you enjoy our revolution race. Some viewers of the channel have written saying they're missing Mark Williamson's dulcet tones. Yeah, me too. They're a little sad because he hasn't been reviewing cars with me for a month or two. But good news, he'll be back next week and we do have some cool sports cars to review. So stay subscribed. Now Mark's been a busy boy in the last couple of months, back and forth between Sydney and New Zealand, training the young stars of the future. He's also got involved with the development of this Cool's new super sports car. It's like an LMP3 car, very, very fast. So they flew him over to England to test it and then back to Australia as a development driver. And you thought you had a good job. Now, if it's a choice between driving one of these or putting up with my dad jokes driving some SUV, well, bit of a no-brainer, I know. But today I heard he was doing a spot of racing himself as part of the development of this new Revolution race car. So on the spur of the moment, I popped out to the track and arrived just in time to see him go from third to second to leading the race. And then next lap, he was pulling away from a field of radicals. And if you know anything about radicals, they're frigging fast. So great job, Mark. And then just as I was thinking it's a done deal, something I've never seen from Mark, a dramatic whip spin and he's out of the race. Uh, it just rotates like that, doesn't it? It blew a turn three. Oh, you, sorry? It, oh, it blew? Oh, I didn't know that. How silly of me to think that Mark would spin. Sorry. Oh dear, and there was I. Okay, delete all that footage. Apology in writing, please, Jeff. Okay, I'll do that. Sure enough, looking at the footage later on, I can see the right rear tyre disintegrating. I should have more faith. Look, when I arrive, you're third, and the next time I look, you're running first. Yep. Nice to couple of guys. So, is that situation normal for you? The guys were pretty, pretty uh, racy off the start, so I just let them go and um, just waited, bided my time so I could get past them. Just waited for uh, the opportunities, and uh, yeah, we were looking pretty good there at that point in time. But, uh, that's what happens. I thought it was worth asking the owner and distributor just why he got Mark involved. Uh, look, we've had a long relationship, and uh, he was our head driver when we had the radical. Uh, team and uh, I think he has three really good attributes which work for us. One, as an instructor, he has infinite patience uh, and we have a lot of corporate um, track days so we take uh, our, uh, our clients out there. Secondly, um, he's an amazingly disciplined driver and equally importantly, when he's ready, he's really fast. This is a car channel, so I better tell you about this car. This is a Revolution A1 500 SC, which of course means supercharged 500 horsepower. Yes, you can buy one. Why would you? Well, no race car is cheap and it does look mega expensive, but this is a car with relatively low running costs, accessible handling, and performance that's on a par with an LMP3 Le Mans car, but it can be enjoyed by everyone from the club racer to people on a career path to Le Mans or Spa. As you can see, it's got a super strong carbon fiber safety cell with this double halo system inspired by Formula One. So yes, it can take two people. And as you can see, it still has the second seat in it that Mark uses when he's instructing. So clearly the team aren't too concerned about the weight and are using today's races just as a development session. It is a full ground effect car with an aero package developed using the latest Formula One know-how. 
Weight is only 835 kilos, but at 200 k's an hour it produces that same amount again as downforce. So the corner grip on fast circuits is just astonishing. High speed plus high downforce means a lot of lateral load on the tyres, so one of the priorities today is, is working out the right tyre package. Power comes from a 3.5 litre V6 based on a Ford unit. It's basically the same motor in the latest Ford 150 trucks. Of course with the supercharger it's 500 horsepower, but Redline's only at 7,500, so it's not highly stressed. And it's typically 10,000 k's between rebuilds, or about 100 hours use, which is really good by race car standards. Power to weight ratio about the same as a McLaren P1, so acceleration is quite brisk, a little better than that F150 truck. 100 to 200 k's an hour, about 5.7 seconds. Six speed paddle shift, double wishbone suspension of course with inboard dampers and all the adjustments you'd expect on a proper race car. That PlayStation steering wheel looks a bit daunting but don't worry about it, just drive the car, you can just set and forget most of that stuff. Of course it's fully configurable to show you what you want to see and you do have buttons and rotary controls for engine performance, traction control, brake bias, pit speed limiter and comms of course. So you can have a chat and whinge about the other drivers, just like a real Formula One driver. Hello Bartman. Hello. How are you? Great. Mate, you got a sore foot? Yes. Have you been taking a bit of stick from that, from people? I have, believe it or not. Everybody uh, takes the opportunity to uh, have a laugh, which is fine. Would you like to explain how that happened? Well, yes, I broke my foot. But go, I, go before that. Oh, before that. Yeah. Well, we're at City Motorsport Park. Yep. And the lap record here was officially set by Nico Hulkenberg. Is, is he a good driver? He's a very good driver. Current Formula 1 driver. Yep. And he had set the time at a 119.1. And uh, about six weeks ago, I managed to beat that uh, with a 117.8. 117? Man, you rock. In the, was that in RP968? Uh, yep, yep, the RP968, all-time attack car. So we actually, on the first day, we managed to beat the record yep. at a 118.8, so we were uh, pretty excited by that. Yeah, yeah. And then the second day, we blew our own record out of the park and went a second faster Wow. with a 117.8. Wow. And uh, you won the event? Won the event. In the and that was first? our fourth consecutive uh, well, time attack. With RP968. Yeah. Wow, mate, that is awesome. Yeah. Um, and then you celebrated a little then, too hard. Yeah, I got very excited. I got up on the roof, jumped up and down, leapt off the roof like yep. a madman, Yep. and broke my right foot. Oh, God. It's, I mean, it's only in the shoe now. Yep. But yeah. <laughs> that, that didn't spoil the day for you? Nah. That, that's, that's the fastest anyone's ever been around here. Look. The fastest official time and, and recorded time. So we've had, had some Formula One cars here yeah. that are, oh, I think have gone a both, bit quicker. Yeah, both Webb and Ricardo. Yeah, you know, it's, yeah. it's only marginal. It's, it's only marginal. And, and you're, you're in a sedan. We're in a sedan. Yeah, a Porsche 968. Yeah, not much of a 968 left of it. I know, I know. That is that's just fantastic. It's quick and uh, look, it's been a, a massive. Uh, development for the car so it's been about 10 years yeah well credit to you it's it's huge commitment through turn one i imagine you flat through one of course you well are. believe it or not we weren't on that lap there's not a lot of cement dust down mm -hmm. and uh we had some issues handling with the car that weren't spot on so yes i have been through turn one flat at about 280 k's mm. but on that actual lap we we were not so yeah there's still more wow. to come so you feel like ringing up Nico and... Yeah, look, I don't know Nico Hulkenberg, but obviously uh, I have been tempted maybe to send him a message uh, on the socials and say, hey Nico, next time you're in Australia, how about you come back and have a crack at your old record again? Yeah, yeah, the goalposts have moved a little bit, buddy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the problem is he might rock up in the house F1 car and then uh, he'd have yeah. a good crack at it. Yeah, no, no, he's got to drive a sedan. <laughs> um, how do you rate Mark? Is he doing a good job? He's doing uh... a great job. Yeah. Um, He's uh, just dialing in with a new revolution here. We've got the 500 SC. Mm. And um, look, I've known Mark for a lot of years, as you know. And mm. it's funnily enough, the first time we've worked together in a, a, a race project. environment, you know, we've worked together the tracks and driver coaching. So it's kind of cool to be working together. And, and no surprises, our philosophy and our thought process with dialing into the revolution to Australia has been very much on par and, and similar and uh, he's done a great job of course leading the first race yeah. until we had the tie blowout so should have been the revolution's first win on australian 
soil, but it, it, it will happen, of course. It's only just arrived, and these are very well established competitors. You can't just, you wouldn't expect to just jump straight into the, but, but he has, anyway. So yeah, but, yeah, no, that's right. And, and look, we, we know what a fantastic car this is, and mm. um, it's an amazing track car. Yeah, well, we're doing about 270 k's an hour just at the end of uh, turn one here, and I'm getting a bit more confident with the car and getting a tyre under the car that's working a bit better, and I can take more speed in there. We've got a lot of downforce. Downforce is great, but it's still not as good as the tyre you got on the car. And uh, we've got to just do some work on that area and get that happening. What have we achieved today? How'd it go? Well, we achieved a lot. Uh, I've learned a lot this weekend. Um, qualifying this morning, P2. Uh, very happy with how the car went. Big progression from our last event. So I'm driving it better. I'm new to the car. The car's new to the country. I need to just learn how to drive it. It's, it has some particular characteristics that I'm getting my head around now. Did a lot of data analysis and video analysis last night and this morning. I've got my head around how to drive that a lot better. So, uh, yeah, went to P1 this morning off the start. Um, got back into P1, lost a couple of places, some good racing, and I was cruising away in P1 there, at, you know, towards the end of the race and we had our tyre blowout, as we know. So uh, that was a DNF in that race from the lead, unfortunately. And then the last race, I just started last then because of my DNF, and I uh, ran P4 on some 50-year-old tyres. So, uh, you know, that's OK. We went back to an older tyre that we used with that we knew weren't going to blow out, but they weren't quick. But, you know, what can you do? you happy with the way the car's developing? It's a good yeah, car? Yeah, our team uh, has done a good job. Bart Moore and Julian have done a great job with the car. They've really prepared it well, and, and we've made a lot of changes over the two days we've been here, and that's one of the things I really wanted to do. Believe it or not, the key features of this car are its relative simplicity, reliability, relatively low cost, and the ease of accessing all that incredible performance. I haven't driven it, but after this puff piece, I'm waiting for an invite. Hint, hint. If you want to go and buy one, you certainly can. Just leave us a comment, we'll put you in touch, or use your Google skills. You'll find them. Uh, they're really running well in the US and in, in Europe, and uh, we're lucky to have one here in Australia, uh, courtesy of my old friends uh, Mark and Maurice Stang, and uh, we've set up the distributorship here. We're selling them and uh, we hope to have a couple more on the grid next year. So any incarnation viewer that wants to go racing? Please like and comment below and I'll give you a price. Yeah, leave a comment. <laughs> leave a comment, I'll let you know how much it's going to cost to drive one of these babies. Oh, what a cool job, Mark. Yeah, it's a cool job.